Martin, Roberto Garcia seems a man after your own heart, fights for your family, been on the beach side more often than not. Yeah, yeah. Um, really relate to everything he was saying up there then. B side fighter, fighting for his family, wanting that big opportunity. Um, I get everything he was saying. Um, that's why I know that on Saturday he's gonna um, he's gonna come, he's gonna bring it, he's he's hungry. You, you could hear the passion in his voice when he was talking. I know him in for a tough fight, but as I said, um, I think um, I mean stylistically it matches up better than from, from a fan's point of view, it's gonna be a better fight than the, the, the Billy Joe Saunders fight. Um, but I feel like I'm a level above and I'm gonna prove that on Saturday. How much of a gutter has it been going through two training camps of Billy Joe Saunders not to get the fight and then suddenly 18 days notice changed to an orthodox who comes forward from a Southpaw who was on the back yeah, foot? Yeah, obviously completely uh, polar opposite style wise. Um, yeah, I mean it has like changing over the opponents it's, it's not been it's not been too bad because it's not you know i think if it had been the other way where they'd have been practicing training for garcia and then we got a late replacement of a slick south ball i think that would have you know it would have been a lot more difficult but garcia is not somebody who have not fought before i fought pressure fighters um you know i fought people who just come forward all the time who, who, who's classy you know golovkin for example um he's He's hungry. He comes forward. There's, there's no, when you watch him, there's, there's not really much in him, um, style-wise. He just throws a lot of punches, um, throws a lot of big shots, and he just comes forward all the time. Um, but that, that that is that is a danger, especially when he was saying as well about how hungry he is and how much he wants the opportunity. So I'm expecting a very very tough fight on Saturday. But um, I've had. I've been training six months, you know, this is I've been training half a year for this, so if I can't go out and make a statement on Saturday, uh, then there's something wrong, but uh, I think I think the guy's made for me. Um, but I think, like I said, the, the fans are in. The, the fans are in for a treat, because I think, style-wise, style it's, a, it's a much better fight. Do you think, also, now you're mid-30s, you might be fresher than him as well? Well, that's it, I think he's 38, so there's not <laughs> many fighters who's older than me now, I fight, but... Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm 35, 36 in a, in a couple of months, but I've not been in many wars. I look after myself in between in between fights. Um, you know, I train, I, I watch what I eat, I don't balloon up in weight. And, you know, I'm I, I'm not in many wars when I fight, really. You know, my, my guard and now, you know, I've got a good guard and I don't take many shots. So I'm not really over the hill in, you know, in, 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 in that respect, but... Obviously, I am all now, but my younger's still exactly the same, if not, if not more. And I really want this world title, and I know that a good win on Saturday puts me back in a great place, and I know it's within my grasp. Do you feel you're going to get that bit of luck finally? I can't get any more bad luck, can I? I've had, I've had an absolute shocker. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, when when Billy Joe pulled out the second time for the fight. Jamie Moore had to tell me twice, he was the one who told me twice, so obviously he was gutted, he didn't want to be the bearer of bad news. But um, when he, he picked me up the second time in Tenerife, and I said, you all right, Jay? And he went, um, he went, no, I mean, what's up? He went, he's pulled out again, and anyway, he was gutted in the van. And um, we were just having a talk, once we got our heads over it, we was like, something good's got to come from all this, do you know what I mean? Something good's got to come from all this, so we stay positive, and obviously we got this fight, and I, I, I truly do believe that some good will come from me. I know that there will be another world title fight for me. And if you win this, as every likely you become mandatory challenger. Is it a good thing fighting Golovkin again? <laughs> Why not? Um, I'm, I'm a fighting man. Um, I want to fight the best out there, unlike Billy Joe Saunders, for example. Um, but yeah, I do. I want to. I want to fight the best. I want to challenge myself, and it will be a challenge uh, fighting Golovkin again. But he's got to beat Canelo first. I think he's going to do it, but it's not a foregone conclusion. But yeah, winning this fight on Saturday puts me at number one with WBC. So, you know, potentially fighting the winner Golovkin and Canelo, who, who will gladly fight. I'll leave you this one. Imagine fighting Golovkin, beating him, then having the rubber match. Think of the cash. Oh, don't, no, that's what dreams are made of. That's what's keeping me going. Um, but yeah, obviously, world title first, uh, big money fight, and then, yeah, I'm, I'm gone from the sport.